Whoa! 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 Oh, God, help me. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play That's My Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. And today we're hopping into Ninja 5 an action platformer by Hudson Soft and published by Konami. Those are like two old school powerhouses. As someone who grew up on the NES, if there was a game by both Hudson Soft and Konami back in the day, I would have played it in an instant. That is such an awesome combination of companies. As you can see, this game is very sort of old school NES in its gameplay. You play as a ninja cop named Joe. Um, I think you are you are Joe Osugi, Osu Osugi, a ninja who must stop a terrorist group influenced by mystical masks. And you can jump around. There's a grapple. There's ninja powers. There's great some great stuff in this game. So without further ado, let's give it a shot. So we will begin a new game on easy. I'm feeling easy today. Sometimes I go for like normal or hard, but uh, I think. Uh, especially for a game that I want to see a lot of. Sometimes easy is a safe bet, so uh, don't judge me, people. Uh, a gang is robbing the bank on the main street. This is an interesting cutscene. Rush onto the scene! And do what? Target Kabuki Warrior. The Hanabi Magic. Okay. I don't know what any of that meant. This guy... <laughs> Interesting. Th this guy kind of looks like... Is he a bad guy? I guess he is. We just killed him. Okay. I guess I assume these are all bad guys. Um, so this game, interestingly enough, uh, you know, considering the fact that it had all that uh, sort of, you know, Japanese uh, terminology and stuff, even in the intro, this game was never actually released in Japan, if you can believe it. Kind of weird. Uh, this game was developed by two hardcore Japanese developers. Um, Konami and Hudson Soft again. And it was released in North America as, as Ninja 5.0. It was also released, by the way, in Europe as I think it was called Ninja Cop. Uh, not to be confused with Samurai Cop, which is a hilariously bad movie. So hilariously bad, it it borderlines on, um, like, good. Uh, like, if you guys have ever seen The Room by Tommy Wiseau, uh, yeah, think of that. Yeah, how do I get this? Wait, 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 what do I do here? Wait, hey, you can slide. Interesting. Hey, hold on. How do you get this? Oh, there we go. Okay, there is there is a, a, a sword button, and that retrieves items. Okay. There also... Is there, like, a grapple? Oh, there's, like, a look option. Interesting. Okay, I gotta I got figure some of this stuff out before we get too far. But anyway, yes, if you have not seen Samurai Cop... Hilariously bad movie. But yes, this game was not released outside of uh, North America and Europe. It's actually apparently a bit of a mystery as to why it was never released in Japan when it was developed by two, you know, classic Japanese developers. But it, it just wasn't. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Kind of kind of interesting. Okay, I don't know. How do I get this? Oh, this guy's coming to kill me. Okay, hold on. I, I need to check the instruction manuals for a second. Oh, I just picked something up. Level 2. I'm a level 2 ninja. Look, I'm pink now. I guess you press down on top of it. Oh, we're fighting a ninja. Oh, look at this. Look at this jerk. Okay. You want a sword fight? Alright, well, there we go. Okay, so you press down on top of those things to pick up power. Gotcha. And how do you grapple? In the intro, they showed grappling, but maybe I just don't have that ability yet. Well, we'll check the manual soon if we can't figure out grappling ever. Because, like, look, it looks like there's a whole section up there. Oh, my God. You just double jump. That is so cool. Oh, okay. Forget about the manual. So this is how you figure games out, guys. I don't need, need no stinking manual. When you would go over to a friend's house, you know, they didn't, you know, they would never have a manual. You just, you just go and figure it out. Okay, we go. We want to go. hoo -yo! Silver! I think we rescued the civilian, sort of. I didn't know ninjas were in the the hostage rescuing business. I thought I kind of thought ninjas just looked after themselves. You know, like I I didn't I didn't think ninjas were. Oh, did I just totally kill her? I think I did. 
Oh, whoops. I guess I guess I'm not in the in the hostage saving business. I'm one of those ninjas who doesn't care about hostages, as it turns out. All right, kill this guy. I'm getting the hang of the game slowly. Kill this guy too. Okay. See, so if we go in here, we're gonna have to fight this ninja. Oh, we hit him right in the face. We caught him off guard. hi -yo! Oh, yeah, we sliced him in the air. Oh, level three. Oh, my God. I wonder what the highest level ninja you can become is. So, let's see. hi -yo! How did I get up here last time? I, like, I did it so unintentionally that I don't know if I can replicate it. Look, look at that. Okay, hold on, wait. Let's, uh... Try this. Swing! Swing! Oh my god! Alright, that's how you get up! You just gotta time it right at that point. hi -oh! Okay, that didn't work. Okay, here we go. hi -oh! oh my god, and I still couldn't get up. Man, I got up the first time totally based purely on luck. Okay, here we go. hi -oh! Kill this guy! Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, forget it. Oh, I just killed the hostage. <laughs> yeah. We went down two levels there. We didn't make it up here. There we go. Kill that dick. That guy, <laughs> that guy in the yellow suit there should be proud of himself. He held off a ninja for quite a while. Okay, I have a new idea here. It's called being smart about things. Okay. Don't shoot. Oh, uh, I just killed the hostage. Damn it. Uh, so my plan was when he, like, pulled his gun out to shoot at me, I was going to shoot him, but I just did it a moment too soon. It's okay. We're, we're getting all of, our, all of our ninja foibles out on level two here. We got to practice being a ninja so that we're good at it. Kill that guy. Okay, let's go and see if we can kill this guy first. Yes, there we go. That's how you rescue a hostage. Okay, let's go kill this ninja guy here. Boom, boom. Kill him. Take his power. Okay, we're doing good. Ninja lifestyle's agreeing with us. Whoa! How did that still hurt me? <laughs> I want to be a level 3 ninja, damn it. Uh, break this? That's right. There we go. We're almost to level four. hi -o! Okay, I just killed the hostage, whatever. <laughs> that is so hard. The, the like, uh, the room is so tight. There's probably, like, a super easy way of doing that. Man, you, you can swing up so far. It's crazy. Oh, my God. I, I took some bullets there. Die! Here, can we break these boxes? No, we cannot. All right. I kind of feel like I, I want to double jump as a ninja, but I guess it's not going to happen. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, he had power in him. He had ninja power. This guy had random ninja power. He made me a level two. He had a pink jumpsuit in him. Okay, here's what we're going to do. hi -oh. Do our ninja moves to get up here. Oh, and get a heart. It is interesting how you have to duck down to pick up, like, the heart and the power-up, like, as if you might not want it. Oh, my God, a ninja. Okay, we killed him. Oh, that was a ninja sneaking up on me. So these bank guys have ninjas on their payroll. They were probably trained by ninjas. We have to be very cautious people. We don't know who these guys are. Who are they working for? Who is their master? Okay, this is good practice. There we go. Boom. Rescue done. So I think you can mess up and kill two hostages and that's about it. And if you, they both die, then I guess you lose the level. I didn't catch that from the mission briefing, but we're learning these things. This is part of the ninja code. Never kill two hostages in a single mission. You will dishonor yourself and your ancestors. That is the way of the ninja. Raphael. It's like Master Splinter. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, I don't want to fight that just yet. Let's, uh, 
find a way up here. Oh, I need a key. Interesting. hi -o! hi -o! Oh, man. My ninja power can now, like, slice through their legs. And that was hearts. Can I... Oh, I can jump on that. Yes, you die now. I'm gonna leave that heart just in case I can pick it up later. It'll probably disappear, but you never know. hi -o! Let's kill this thing. Oh yeah, and he had a key. He was it some kind of samurai robot. So cool. I'm not even mad that it was designed to kill me because it was pretty cool. All right, and that is this. Oh no, oh, they're colored doors probably. I mean, of course, why would the blue key work in the yellow door? Come on, I, I'm embarrassed I even tried, but I mean. Okay, both of these rooms seem like things we can go in. Oh. We have to do a ninja crawl, and then hello! Damn it, more hostages. I don't like the hostages part. I'm not very good at it. Oh, there we go. But when you can uh, kill those guys in one hit, it's actually not too bad. All right. Well, one down. What, three more to go? Maybe if I just take my time and try not to rush it, I'll be okay. Oh, another ninja. No, no, he took my power. No, he took it again. No. I dropped two ninja levels from that fight. That sucked. I'm back to being a lowly blue ninja with ninja stars. It's the worst of all the ninjas. Just gut that guy with a sword because I'm so upset. I've disgraced my ancestors. Hi-yo. Guess the sword will always... Cut it. So I can just always use the sword. Mine, mine is a, a terrible pun. Oh god. I... I don't know which side of the balcony I want to be on. I guess that side. Oh god, he can aim. Oh my god. This guy was so much easier when I was more powerful. Okay, well I'm a level 2 again. I've got my hot pink... My hot pink ninja suit. Feeling good about myself. It's all about the confidence these different colored jumpers give you. hi -yo. Oh yeah, there you go. Freed you. I guess I'm doing better at not randomly murdering civilians, but whatever. Hoo. So if there were two developers back from the NES era, you know, like this game was made by Hudson and Konami. If there are two developers that you grew up on that you would love to see team up, oh these don't these do don't respond. That is actually good to know. Or they don't disappear, I guess. Um, but if there's two developers back in the NES days that you would love to see pair up and make like a more modern uh, retro or indie style game, what would those developers be? Um, I'm thinking of other another developer I liked was Ultra. Um, oh Jesus. They did uh, the like Ninja Turtles NES game. Um, they did a few other games, but uh, I don't can't think of them off the top of my head now. Damn it, I lost a ninja level for that. Uh, but I definitely know that Ultra was out there making games. Um, I mean, Capcom was another big one, of course, of course, Capcom. But like, I'm trying to think like what would be a cool, interesting combo, you know? Um, and nothing is jumping to mind, but I am also a little busy at the moment. So I, I put the question to you guys as you're watching this, like, are there other, uh, you know, companies you could see that would team up to make like a good, uh, good partnership? Yes. Oh, you can just see those guys from behind. Good to know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. No. <laughs> I was trying to use the sword. Oh, now I'm like down a level. That sucks. Oh, I think we're almost done this this level. We just got the red key. It's like Doom with the different colored keys. Um, this game also sort of, like I could totally have seen this game coming out in the NES era. I mean, the Game Boy Advance is basically like a beefed up Super Nintendo. So obviously this could have been on Super Nintendo as well. But uh, like I could have seen this like in an era of like Shinobi, Ninja Gaiden. You know, those kinds of games. This is kind of like Ninja Gaiden, isn't it? 
I'm like trying to think, like I get my ninjas confused. This Shinobi's the Sega Genesis one. Now this one's more like Ninja Gaiden, except you have a grappling hook. The hook is kind of cool, but I mean, Bionic Commando on the NES had a grappling hook, so it could be done on the NES hardware. So I could see like a version of this. Oh, look at this. We're fighting Samurai Clown Man, Monster Clown, Insane, Insane Clan Posse. Get it? Because it's Japanese Samurai Clans. All right, this guy sucks. hey yo, Saga! He's like hopping on one leg. I think he has a sports injury. Ow. Ow. Okay, he's about to kill me. And I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I was like, wow, this guy's so easy. The fireball part's actually a little hard. Hopefully we get infinite continues here. All right, man. I will admit I underestimated your power and I paid the ultimate price. Come on. Let's do this. Ow. Ow. I want to go up now. I want to get this and this. Okay, we're good. Um, oh, is he coming back down? What happens? There he goes. Yeah, okay, we got to get him to like half health. Then I'm going to try and hang out down here. Here, ow. Dodge the fireballs this way. I think that's the best bet. Ah, there we go. Alright, I think we got him now. Yeah, you go down, eat my ninja stars. It's gonna have to like see when you're at the very bottom of the screen and you can watch the very top to see like where fireballs are coming from, it gives you the most amount of time to react. That was my whole strategy of staying near the bottom. I have the most amount of time to react to this guy. Oh, we have one more round of this. Whoa. See, that one almost got me. Oh, that one did get me. Yes. Come down and die. I don't even need that last heart. I'm leaving it for your children and your children's children. hi -oh! oh, his mask fell off. Well, we can ninja teleport. Probably only at the end of levels, but still. It's pretty cool. Mission accomplished! I rescued six of the seven uh, civilians. Oh, that was... Th the whole thing was the bank heist? <laughs> I thought there were, like, different levels. I guess I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, it was all sort of bank heisty. Stuck in an office building. There will be an illegal weapons deal at the port facility tonight. Stop the weapon smugglers. Look at those evil bastards. Hanya, who's a sniper. And he has toad magic! The magic... Of a toad. Well, we can't let that stand, can we, Sensei? Get my bluest gi out. I'm going to war. Remember when we played uh, Mark of the Ninja for PJs and indie games back at uh, back in the winter? That was a fun game. That's a, that, that's actually a fun like. Uh, oops. Oh, I, I didn't even notice there was a civilian there. All right. Well. <laughs> One of them's dead. What can I tell you? Let's just, uh, let's move on. Let's not focus on our mistakes. We focus on our successes. Oh, Jesus. Look at all this. Ah, uh, see, so this is how you can use your binoculars to look up and down. hi -oh! We just lost our power. I wanted to know what was past the black ninja suit, but I feel like we're on harder levels now, so it's like definitely not gonna happen here. I mean, unless I like really pull it together and get really good at this game all of a sudden. What's in this room, do you guys think? Conveyor belts, Th these levels are becoming more like mazes. Oh God, ah, oh, bastard. Oh, these guys take multiple hits now. Yeah, we're definitely not seeing that with past the black ninja suit. Oh, maybe we are, we just killed him pretty easily. Okay, but we need a key. And the grappling is like simultaneously very forgiving and yet a little little tricky to get good at. Whoa! Ah, bastard. <laughs> no! We could have turned into the black ninja. We're get we keep getting so close to uh like being able to upgrade and stuff, and then we keep screwing it up. I say we because I'm like lumping you guys in. Obviously it's partially your fault. 
You guys are not very good at this game. Did you guys know that? <laughs> it's not me at all, I swear. Okay. hi -yo. You are rescued. Flee. Meanwhile, I will escape like a ninja. That's actually kind of satisfying, that little uh, leap he does there. Oh, man, what I need is life. One more hit and I am dead. Wee wee. Whoa. Damn it. What? <laughs> uh, I, I was doing kind of good there. I was like, hey, look at this finesse. And then I went ahead and jumped down a level and went into a door that I've uh, been in before. So this game is considered, uh... <laughs> oh man. This game is considered to be a great uh, game for the Game Boy Advance. A uh, great overall ninja game. Interestingly enough, um, like I said before, not only was this game, you know, not released in Japan, which is weird, because it's by two really great Japanese developers, but it uh, also uh, was not played very, very widely on its release. And to this day, because it wasn't played too widely and it didn't sell like tremendously well, it's actually a little hard to come by. And I think it's considered one of the rarest uh, Game Boy Advanced games out there. Like it has like an extremely rare rating um, for Game Boy Advance games, which is kind of interesting actually. But yeah, if you like rare, good Game Boy Advance games, apparently, oh shoot, I killed hostage. Apparently this is one of the games you should be checking out. Oh, you didn't know you could throw up? Oh, well, let's see what's what's in here. I didn't go in this room last time. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I guess it's the uh, red room that I didn't go in. But let's do it this way. Because I really want to get those black pajamas. Oh, I totally killed that guy. The heart. Get up here. Kill this guy. There we go, we're taking our time. Nobody needs to rush here. Okay, I think there's two ninjas in there. I wonder if I can, yes, pa do some powering up. Can't wait for this fire. I'm playing it super safe. Oh, it's just the yellow key. All right, we're a black ninja. Didn't think I'd ever see the black ninja suit again because the levels are getting harder. Now let's see what we can do about these guys. Oh, that's what we can do about them. Apparently they're they're not immune to the black ninjas. Ninja throw stuff. Yes. Nothing? Oh, maybe the black ninja is the most powerful you can get. I mean, he's pretty damn powerful. It does make some sense. Um... Let's not risk it. Let's not be stupid here. We gotta take advantage of this black ninja suit and help, hope it carries us as far as possible. All right, we've rescued all the hostages. We just need, now need to get out of here, which I think is the red door. And I'm pretty sure the red key will just be in here. It kind of makes sense that it would be in here. Oh yeah, and here's where we died last time. Oh, I think I just killed a guy. Oh no! <laughs> And I fell off. Oh no! No! That sucks. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Yeah, here's the blue door. I bet the red key's just like sitting in here on a chair. Or not. More more elaborate than I thought it Oh god. Oh my god, die! Guess we would have lost that black suit no matter what. Okay, so this is like an enclosed room. I like how when you use the look button, it shows you the barriers of the room. So that you know, it, like, it's not like you could scroll past that section. There we go. Kill that guy. There's the red key. Man, I can't believe I fell in the spikes there. You know what, what else was annoying? So I went to jump, but I accidentally walked off the cliff. And then when I pressed jump, my guy was like throwing his, uh, his like uh, ninja claw thing. And it's like, it made me look like I was stupid and trying to like claw the ceiling or whatever, but it's like, I knew it was up. I was trying to jump. I just couldn't, I missed the jump. Walked off the cliff like an idiot. 
Um, anyway. Alright. Easy! I think this, this game is actually also incredibly short. Like, it's totally possible we will beat it or at least see the last level or at least the second last. At the very least. I feel like the, the Pink Ninja's attack is almost one of the best in the game. Because you, uh... You have so much... Uh... It, it's sort of like the spread attack. Yeah, hold on. Huh! How do we do this? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Shoot, I just killed a hostage. I knew that hostage was there, too. That's why I was coming all the way over here. All right, so that was stupid. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So that conveyor belt's going towards the spikes. So our plan is to run, crab walk like a ninja. Oh god, we're gonna have to be between this fire, aren't we? Don't get a hit. All right, I totally could have made it, but I guess I chickened out at the end. All right, what do we got going on up here? Whoa, oh, hello! I like to make like Japanese sound effects so that I feel more like a ninja. Hoyo! Ra! Yes! Health pickup! Okay, so now I can see the conveyor belt. Oh, look, he's even looking down. The conveyor belt's like going this way. So be careful of the spikes. Damn it. I tried to just jump over it, but I definitely did not have enough uh, jump height. Okay, let's just go over this way. Oh, you bastard. There we go. All right, give me that. Give me those black PJs. Oh, what? He didn't have black PJs. What kind of crap ninja? What kind of crap enemy ninja is that? Oh God. Jeez, I almost went to the spikes there. Did I kill the robot? I did. And he had the yellow key. Give me that robot. You shan't be needing that in the Valley of the Shadows. And off we go. Scam must have oh my god, toads! They're evil! Damn it, I knew it! They're humans in toad costumes. Those were totally henchmen dressed as toads. I knew it. Oh look at this. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Wah. Okay. Let's do this! Nope. Okay, see, this is the part, this the skill testing part of the grapple hook. There we go. And that's when you re that's when you guys realize old gaming Jace. Oh god, what is that is lacking skills. Hey yo! Come on, robot! Show me what you've got. Oh god, not this guy. A random guy in a suit has killed me. <laughs> I defeated robots and like ancient samurai and guys dressed up as toads. And somehow, just a random guy in like a really nice yellow suit defeated me. Although it does give me my uh, my pink suit back. That's interesting. It's like it it remembers where I was at the end of the last level, and it's, it like continues me there. Boom! Rescued. All right, we're doing a little better this time, I think. I have a good feeling now that I know now that I've scouted the level out with a life. You guys thought I was dying, but it's called scouting. Hello. Um, now that I have scouted this level out, I got this. And we have the black suit. That is health, which I'm gonna leave for right now because I feel like I actually don't need it. We'll go ahead here, do this. See, look, you thought I was gonna go into the spikes again. You thought I was gonna go into the spikes again. You thought that guy was gonna kill me. You admit it! You can admit it! You can tell me that you don't have a lot of faith in me, it's okay. You bet you probably forgot I thought I knew there was a robot there. See I am I'm, I'm smarter than I look sometimes, guys. I'm smarter than I look. I wonder what kind of energy he's like tapping into. Is the same stuff as like the Shriukens or whatever the like Ken and Ryu can do? Oh god. <laughs> I meant to attack them, but I just I'm like, Toads! I'm out of here, man. Forget this! Oh god, there's a toad! And it's looking at me, we killed it. Thank god, alright. It's it's funny how like scary the toads are. 
it's actually pretty funny. Boom, boom. All right, we killed we killed the robot. We killed that guy. You're rocking it. Give me your power. I guess I should leave those unless I uh, need them. Because I think the black ro the black suit is as far as you can go. And if I leave those, then like if I leave the power up stuff, then if I need it in future, I can just come back and get it. You know. Like if I take a hit, I can still come back and upgrade. I'm gonna start not taking power-ups unless I need them. So health and all sorts of stuff. From now on, if I don't need it, I'm not taking it. Go! Run, ninja! Run! Okay, then we wait for this one. Still don't need the health, so we'll... Well, you know what? I might as well take it, because I'm almost at the end. And if I died, I'd be really upset. All right, we're at max health. Run, ninja. Run. Oh, no. Okay. See? If I had... Oh, no. God, just get the hell out of here. I'm glad I took the health, and I'm sad I have no more lightning bolts. Well, we went from being in the black suit, and you guys were super impressed, to back in the blue PJs. That's okay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We can just slice them. Slice your toes! Evil henchman! hi -yo! hi -yo! This does not look good. Oh god, slice him! <laughs> Jeez. hi -yo! What's over here? Health or something? Power up. I will take pink. Pink's a very flattering color on me. It's more of a salmon than anything. Oh, there's a wall here. I was like, why is this guy not shooting at me? Oh, interesting. Is there... Oh, what the... Wait. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. This is, this is actually harder than it looks. Huh! Okay. Oh, my God. It's harder than it looks, but it's not as hard as I was making it out to be, if you can believe it. Oh, God. There was a flame there. My guy jumped super high. Wait for, for this flame to end. Oh, oh, God, kill him. Okay. I'm going to go for this power up because I need it. Whatever it is. Health, ninja energy. Health is actually pretty good. We're gonna take our time with this. There we go. Rescued the hostages. I've kind of turned British. I'm a British ninja now for some reason. Wow, the wall jumping uh, in the farther levels, if they do more of that, that's gonna be crazy difficult. I wish you could just parkour like Mario. Now what is down there? Oh, it's the key to get out of here. I was gonna say, I probably don't need it, but. There we go. I did need it, actually. Hey! -oh! I always forget you can do a slide. Like, I, I barely ever do that move. Nope. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, well. That worked out. Go, 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 go! Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! Alright. Good job! Who ranks the ninjas? Is there a ninja evaluator just slightly off camera? He's like, good job, ninja. I've seen a lot of ninjas in my day, but that was some solid work. Okay, I didn't intend to be that slick, but it got me nowhere. Whoa! 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 Oh, God help me. <laughs> okay, what is over here? Um, whoa! Whoa! Okay, so none of those are doors we can go in. So we got... We need to, like, go up the middle. Yikes. Okay, the game's starting to become, like, really dependent on this claw stuff. There we go. And for me, the claw stuff is some of the hardest stuff. But I will take some credit for being awesome, because I just did that. 
So I'm pretty sure this would need a key. Yeah. So now we're into green keys, too. Oh my god. Okay. Is he still alive? Yes, he is. Oh my god, no. Whoa, whoa, it's so fast, like, how's anyone supposed to make sense of this? The people who are really good at this game, I bet it's like they just fly through these levels and they're doing like combinations of ninja moves to make it look like so elegant and beautiful and I'm like, can't even like spin up a single thing. Huh. Like, like that was, that was impressive for me to be able to do that for you guys. Oh God. Okay, let's kill this guy. There we go. Kaboom! All right, a room we can enter. I'll take it. Uh, oh my God, are you kidding me? We have to like, do this thing. All right, let's wait for the flames. Huh! Nope. Nope. Jeez, I wish you could just wall jump like Mario. What's wrong with this guy? Oh. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh my god. Seriously? Dude. Oh. Oh. We're in. Oh god. I took a firewall to the face. That sucked. I'm like so afraid of these flames. Oh my god. There's a whole other side that we could go up. I mean, I think we have to do it. Especially now that we lost our awesome pink suit. Let's go through. Okay, here we go. Huh! Shoot, I'm hitting... Ugh, okay, we're safe. Sort of, somehow. There we go. Ugh, get in there! And, oh, it's two keys! All right, we definitely needed to go up both sides then. All right, let's get the hell out of here. That room sucked. <laughs> I hate that move. That, uh... Who? Okay, so it's not even the right key. Oh, it's not even the right key for that either. Oh, we have to go all the way back down. Are you joking me? Like, I guess... Oh, God. Okay, I guess we just pick a, a side. We'll go for blue. Oh my god, things are getting more precarious. Hmm. Now what is down, I wonder? There's a hostage down there. Okay, let's let's try going up first though. Since we're up here already. And drop the heart. It's like ninja power and stuff here. Ugh. There we go. There we go. And ninja power. All right. Worth it. Now we're upgraded. Crawling around the vents. Even crawling in the vents is actually a little tricky for this ninja guy. Okay, now... We want to... Oh, yeah. Oh, toads. And all sorts of stuff. Okay, don't shoot. I want that toad to die so bad. Oh my god, it's coming for me. Come and get some, toad! Come and get some. Where is he? He's just hanging out down there. He knows what's coming for him. I don't think I can hit him and he can't hit me. It's... Ha! Huh. Oh, did you see that? That was timed, despite what you may believe. Yes! The pink ninja strikes again. Oh god. <laughs> and almost jumps right into a jet engine that for some reason isn't an abandoned factory. All right, let's go kill this other toad down here. Oh god. Oh god, no, no, no. Ah, oh, shit. Where is he? You can't trust the toad. Ah. 
Die, 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 die! <laughs> we killed him! I was just swinging in a panic. I was like, oh god, the toad is coming! The toad is coming! Get the hell out of here. Alright, we got the green key. The frog key, I like to call it. And we've also got the yellow key, so we can come over here. Almost jumped right into the spikes. There we go. We can do this. Okay, what have we got going? Oh god, oh god. Jesus. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, the timing of that was completely accidental. But it worked out well for me. So we'll take it. Oh yeah, slice to the back, bro. And we'll take this thing. More ninja. All right, we're back to pink. I don't mind pink, actually. Like, it's not as good as being the black ninja. But as long as I'm just not the default guy, I think I'm pretty happy. There we go. This room was a little tricky, but it wasn't too bad. Ooh. All right, now we got the green room. And then we're done. One hostage left. Oh, I'm even getting better at that. Surprisingly. Man, I made it up here in record time. All right, green room. Reveal your toads. Your dudes in toad suits. And be destroyed. Okay. So I can do this. I'm gonna stay down until the next flame passes. All right, come on, buddy. That's it, right? Oh, I need the red key, which is probably down there somewhere. Who? Oh my god! <laughs> Just start flailing your sword aggressively, and if they get killed, it's their own fault. Oh, come on! That's kind of bullshit. I guess I have to, like, jump up here and do this. There we go. Whatever, we passed the level. I'm not in any cool colored jumper. I'm in my bluesies. But we did it! We've rescued the hostages. Alright, let's see what kind of boss we're facing. This is a boss level, I think, coming up. Yes. Toad Man! He summoned a giant toad. He's literally... Oh, God. Do we have to run from this? Oh, he's... He, it's Hypno-Toad. He's Hypno-Toading us. Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, I think we can, like, jump underneath him or something. Oh, God. Hit him in the butt. Oh, you can, like, shoot him on top of the toad. Oh, holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. We're learning his boss moves. It's gonna take a few rounds, it seems. We haven't had a mission failed, though, in a while. I think that's progress. Okay, so we actually have to shoot him, not just the toad. I like how we're, we're fighting a guy on a giant toad in, like, some kind of, like, industrial warehouse, like, in the back, you know, in the back here. Oh, and I knocked him off the toad. Oh, God. He's jumping all over the place like a madman. Okay, he's back on the toad. Ah, damn it. Hitting him in the butt. Oh, he's off the toad again. Ah, it's the timing of this is... Very difficult. Oh, he's back on the toad. All right, as long as I can get that toad breathing fire. And then, yo! Getting under the toad is pretty key there too. It's kind of a fun boss. Oh God. Okay. Oh my God. Ah, there we go. He's back on the toad. Don't want to get hit by fire at this point. 
He's so close. Yes! Oh, I jumped in the spikes! No! And I'm floating up! Does it count as I pass the level? No! <laughs> what? No, I killed him! Oh, I killed him and found a watery grave. Alright, well at least we know we can kill him. Oh man, that was pretty hilarious. That's how you fight bosses. Should make you invincible once the boss dies. Come on. I had him. That should have been a victory. What the hell did I just do? There's some kind of like super move apparently you can do and I don't quite know how to do it. My guy just seems to do it sometimes. Oh God, I'm... Oh my God, no. Fuck. Ugh. This is not the round that I kill the boss, let me tell you. Or maybe it is. Because as long as I can avoid his attacks here, I have like a lot of room. Shoot. For that toad. See, the key to the toad is to lure it into shooting fire at you, and then while it's shooting fire, that's when you like attack the rider guy. There you go. And look at this. You do this little deadly dance with the toad man. Ow. Why did I try and attack him? But that's the dance. You do the dance and he can't get you. All right, one more shot, one more shot. We got this. All right, Toad. Let's do this. Okay, see now that he's throwing fire, we can just do this. So you always want the Toad shooting fire as much as possible because it gives you the most time to attack his buddy. And then when his buddy comes down, you just do the dance. Oh shoot, okay, I, I need to stop trying to attack uh, his rider when he uh, gets off. Yeah, there we go. Like you get a couple of attacks on the rider and if you don't make it happen in those couple of attacks then you just gotta like dance it out. There we go. <sighs> Come on, another attack frog. Oh, we're so close to the ledge. So now we want to be on the right side of the toad because we'll have more room to move. And we got this boss figured out. So we call him the business figuring out a boss. Getting the boss battle down. Yeah! Eat that! Oh, his helmet fell off too and he was a skeleton underneath. Oh, what the hell? There's all this stuff up here? Didn't even have, <laughs> no idea. Didn't even occur to me to try and like escape from the boss. All right, somebody died in the process, but we were nine people we got out alive. Eight of nine. And then we have the airport, and then there was one. The airport was taken over early this morning. The airport is still under hijacker's control. Get on the jetliner and rescue the hostages. Oh, look at that guy, he's like a giant. I bet the boss has something to do with the giant airplane. Uh-oh. Killing ninjas instantly. What, did, what, what was promised to these ninjas? Why aren't they, are they on the side of evil? Ninjas are always supposed to fight for truth and justice. That's what they taught me in the 80s Saturday morning cartoons. Oh my god. Ninjas are never supposed to do what's wrong. They're always supposed to do what's right. That's, a, that's basically what makes them ninjas. So I don't understand this game. Boom. Boom, you are free. Respect your ancestors. The ninja way. Okay, there's another hostage over here, which I kind of missed. I think I assumed I could get her from the other side, but. Shoot. All right, sorry, ma'am. Might have murdered you. Not my fault. There was a glare in my eye. You looked like a bad guy. Try and look more like a hostage next time. Well, that was a pretty sweet attack. Oh, that guy's still alive. All right, here, you die. I think after the hostage died, I was just like, let's get the hell out of here. No witnesses, right? Oh, God, there's a ninja down there. I will kill you. I didn't want to leave that guy roaming around. 
I probably would have forgot about him and fallen on him and there's a door there. Yeah, there we go. We freed that one. All right. Let's go get our keys. I assume there are keys in here. Kill this ninja. Oh, we're like in an elevator shaft. That is a giant elevator too, by the way. Oh yes, we're black ninja now. We haven't seen this in a while. Surprisingly doing reasonable on, uh, shoot, on this. Oh, we have to go up the elevator shaft. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. And now what? Maybe like swing along like this. Oh God, giant boomerang guy, no! Oh God, okay, well he has a key. Damn it, we lost our black suit, but whatever. Okay, so there's the blue door, or the green door. Where's the blue door? It's the red door. I guess it was way over here. Wait, was there a blue door? Where? Oh yeah, there was. It's gonna say like, where the hell was the blue door? All right, here we go. More robots. Why is it always robots? Who builds them? Who's in the biz business these days of producing, uh, you know, nin giant samurai ninja robots? Ah, oh, bastard. Give me that key. Take my power-ups. Gonna make this guy actually really hard. Whew. I do uh, time that, uh, time that very well. You know who my guy kind of reminds me of? You guys know in Contra 3, The Alien Wars, um, on the highway level when you're on the motorbikes, eventually you start riding a missile and then like this ninja comes out of nowhere and he like throws a grappling hook uh, onto the, the missile that you're riding on. It's like the grappling hook this guy has. Like maybe that's this guy in the future or like his son or something, he's like turned evil. Now he's like in the business of like, you know, killing comman human commandos who are trying to fight an alien war or something. I don't know. But it kind of reminds me of this guy. He has some connection to it, I can tell you. I like when we kill like actual terrorist looking guys, not like guys who like work for the mob and have bad senses of fashion. Oh God, oh you bastard. That sucks. Oh, well, at least there's health. All right, so they're flamethrower guys now. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so when guys detect you, oh my god, I blocked his bullets with ninja stars. I was trying to duck and do that, but it kind of was interesting to learn that. Uh, when guys detect you, you can totally just sort of drop away and they will, you know, kind of forget that you exist. Okay, maybe I had to go the other way. We'll go like this. Was there another way? There was not. So how do I get up there? That's the question. Right. It's gonna be something. Okay, first of all, let's go up here. Oh, yeah. This part's kind of cool. Oh my god! Okay, we did some damage. I'm not trying to kill them all in one go. What the? His, like... Oh my god, Ninja Cloud Star stuff came for us. Whew. This level's actually, the levels are getting like more intricate. I'm pretty sure this is the last stage. I'm kind of debating if we should try and finish the game or not, because I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm kind of at my max. Maybe we should call it. Oh, we beat the stage. Let's at least see how hard the next stage looks, because maybe I could keep going for a bit. I mean, what's funny is you guys know. I'm, I'm sitting here like, I don't know if, uh, how much farther I'm going to go in the game, but you can look at the length of the video and you know. You know if I kept going or not. It's like you guys can see the future, man. In the moment. What did, I thought I was uncertain in the moment. That's what I thought. Okay, can we... Oh, we can grab that. Okay. hi -o! Hi ho, Silva. Come on, be a power up. Ugh, 
Well, I, need, I do need the health, though. Drop a power-up! Nothing! Man, they're getting really stingy with the power-ups. I'm killing, like, ninjas and stuff, and they're not giving them to me. Oh, you bastard! Well, I didn't have a power-up to lose, so who cares? Alright, what do we got going on here? Oof. Yeah, I think these levels are becoming enough, like, mazes that the amount of time left on this last level is probably a lot. And not that I, I'm not enjoying this game, but I think uh, I think my time with it is coming to an end. So, yeah, Ninja 5-0 here. Kind of a hilarious title, by the way, Ninja 5-0. I mean, I guess I have been fighting criminals and stuff, but he just kind of feels like a ninja who's getting involved in police activity, not necessarily a ninja cop, which, again, was the title in the European version of the game. So Ninja 5-0 here, one of the games in the book of Thousand One video games you must play before you die. And I think if you like, uh, you know, if you grew up on the Nintendo or Super Nintendo uh, and you like, you know, old platformers and stuff, this is a great game. This is great. It might be a little short. We might be nearing the end of the game having only played it for like, you know, almost an hour. But on the flip side, I mean, you know, I mean, there's there's still like a whole other stage here, you know, like I, I'm only on the, the second level of... Uh, the final stage here and again there might be more stages so you know it's a sh it's on the shorter side potentially uh but interesting good game um it is a super rare one too if you're into that if you're into collecting like rare game boy advance games or just rare games in general this is one of the rarer game boy advance games and you know sometimes rare games are like not very good you know, like they're rare just because they're rare, but you know, they're they're not like considered good games. I would say this game, regardless of its rarity, is uh, you know pretty pretty interesting, pretty interesting game. Definitely uh, worth some consideration. So yeah, those are my thoughts. But what do you guys think of Ninja Five O here? Is it a game that you have ever played before? Have you ever seen it in the wild? Have you purchased it? Do you own it? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, hopefully today I have made things entertaining for you. And uh, if I have, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And I will be back soon with uh, yet another game in the ongoing quest to try all the games in the book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. Um, and, uh, you know, continue being awesome ninjas yourselves. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. If it makes you guys feel any better, these levels become pretty big mazes. I don't think I would have actually made it through this last stage. Oh, my God. <laughs> How's that for a ninja rescue? Yes. Oh, I jumped in the spikes. No, and I'm floating up. No, I killed them! Ah, I killed them and found a watery grave.